great to see you all. Has everybody started school now? Anybody still waiting to do that? Yeah, maybe, okay, all right, yes, yes. So I've been thinking a lot lately of how we learn and how we grow together at school and also when we're here gathered together as God's church. And one of the ways that we have that are, is listening and talking with each other, right? And I know you'll get to do that in Kids Connect and We Connect in a few moments. And we also learn with, with our bodies sometimes, right? I know some of you are practicing new skills on the playground. How many for you, recess is your favorite time at school? So some of you, yeah, yeah. I like that too. It's fun to run around in the middle of the day. So another way I like to learn is with my eyes. And we have something special here that you will get to see, and you can see up close soon. If you look at our side walls, do you see these beautiful blue squares up above on either side of our sanctuary? Yes, so does anybody know what that kind of art is called? Yes. Yes, window art, that's a great word, yeah. window art. Yes, yes, stained glass window art, right, yes. And it's really beautiful, and um, it, it is a, a kind of art that takes a long time, but it also lasts a long time, right? And some of these windows, the ones over here on your left that say, if you look down at the bottom, Matthew, Mark, and then the middle it says Agnus Dei, which means Lamb of God. That's, that's a sermon for another time. Uh, Luke and John. And then over here we have Elijah and David and Moses and Abraham and Noah. And do any of those names remind you of big stories in the Bible? Yeah? Yeah, they do? Yes? That's right, exactly, the gospel writers. So you know some of these names. They're the people that wrote about Jesus. And then these names are people that appear in the Old Testament. And we have a special exhibit that has just been put together by some of our friends here in the congregation about all the stained glass, because believe it or not, there's more in our buildings than just these, glass, these stained glasses. Um, you can go into Spelman, in a the glass case by the double doors, there's an exhibit where you can look at some of these windows up close and learn more about them and learn about the art of stained glass. And so our friends wanted to make sure you knew about it so you could bring your families there and maybe look closely at the stained glass that we have. And what they're really there for is not just to be pretty, but also to help us remember and to learn stories about our faith and people uh, who are part of our story in the Bible. Um, so thank you for being here. Thank you for all the ways you learn and grow and teach me as well and share with one another. Um, we are glad that you're here. In just a few minutes after we pray, you'll follow your, your, your teachers are here in the front row, and they've got signs. So if you're not sure who you should be with, it's okay. You can go out the middle, and they'll make sure you go to the right place um, for, for some time together at Kids Connect and We Connect. All right. Can, can I answer your question after worship? All right. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> it's my son. Let's have a prayer together. Lord, we thank you so much for the ways that we get to learn and grow our whole lives long, whether we're four or 94 or 104. We ask, Lord, that you would fill us um, with that desire to know you and to know how to share your love. We thank you for opportunities to gather together in your name today. May you spark that joy in us, in your word, in your spirit today. In Christ's name, amen.